Hi friends and welcome to Storytime. Today we are going to read the book I Love You Blue Kangaroo. Blue Kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. Every night Lily said, I love you Blue Kangaroo and Blue Kangaroo fell fast asleep in Lily's arms. Then one day, Lily's Aunt Jemima came for lunch. She gave Lily a wild brown bear. He was huggable and furry with wild brown eyes. That night, Lily took the wild brown bear up to bed with her. She said, I love wild brown bear, and I love you, blue kangaroo. Blue kangaroo didn't sleep quite so well after that. The next Saturday, Lily's mother's friend Florence came to tea. She gave Lily a yellow cotton rabbit. He was floppy and fleecy with velvety ears. That night, as Lily got ready for bed, she said, I love yellow cotton rabbit. I love wild brown bear. And I love you, blue kangaroo. Blue kangaroo hardly slept at all after that. Then, jolly Uncle George came to stay. He gave Lily two furry puppies. They were cuddly and fluffy with shiny black noses. That night, as Lily put her pajamas on, she said, I love the furry puppies. I love yellow cotton rabbit. I love wild brown bear, and I love you, blue kangaroo. After that, blue kangaroo hardly slept a wink. On Lily's birthday, Mrs. Appleby gave Lily a wiggly green crocodile and her great uncle Arthur gave her a long-eared owl. Lily's cousin Amelia gave her a little tiny teddy. That night, as Lily brushed her teeth, she said, I love tiny teddy. I love long-eared owl. I love wiggly green crocodile. I love the furry puppies. I love yellow cotton rabbit. I love wild brown bear. And I love you, blue kangaroo. Blue kangaroo lay on the edge of the bed and stared at the ceiling. In the middle of the night, Lily rolled over, then Tiny Teddy rolled over, then Long-Eared Owl rolled over, then Wiggly Green Crocodile rolled over, then the Furry Puppies rolled over, then Yellow Cotton Rabbit rolled over, then Wild Brown Bear rolled over. and Blue Kangaroo rolled out of bed onto the floor. He looked up at Lily and the sleeping creatures. There's just no room for me anymore, he said sadly, and he hopped across the carpet and out the door.
He hopped along the hallway to the baby's room. He hopped up into the baby's warm crib. Goo goo boo, gongaloo, gurgled the baby, and he squeezed Blue Kangaroo tightly in his little pink fists. The next day, Lily looked everywhere for Blue Kangaroo. Goo goo boo, gongaloo, cooed the baby. Mine, cried the baby. No, shouted Lily. Lily, said her mother, you've got so many animals. Surely you can let the baby have just one. Not Blue Kangaroo, cried Lily. Lily ran to her room, and when she came back, her arms were full. He can have all of these, she said, but nobody can have Blue Kangaroo. That night, the baby went to bed with the wild brown bear, the yellow cotton rabbit, the furry puppies, the wiggly green crocodile, the long-eared owl, and the little tiny teddy. Lily went to bed with Blue Kangaroo. Blue Kangaroo sn snuggled up to Lily. She stroked his blue ears, then she kissed the tip of his soft blue nose. I love you, Blue Kangaroo, she said. And Blue Kangaroo fell fast asleep in her arms. And that's the end of the story. I love you, Blue Kangaroo. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay awesome, be good, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.